<laughs> and it's nice to have you here with us. Thank nice to you. see you again. You know, I remember after Diana left the, the group, you reformed it. And I mean, you really, you know, shouldered all that responsibility at that time and really struggled to, to make it work. And you had some, some big hits. Yes. You yes. know, there for a while. And then it all kind of just kind of fell apart. You're looking back on it now, why, why did that happen? <laughs> well, you know, it's amazing. I, at the time, I, t I kept the group together because I wanted it to stay together. Yeah. And it wasn't a struggle in the beginning because I'm figuring, well, I love to do this. I love to sing, so it's going to work. And we got best singers to join us. And I thought it was, it was fine. We had Stone Love, Up the Ladder to the Roof. That's right. Nathan Jones. Those Floyd were all Joy. All time, those yeah. were huge hits, you know. And I just thought it would just go on forever in my young mind, you know. But. But it just seemed like it stopped and it didn't it was more of a gradual stop and the one thing I think I brought out in the book was that we did not have the company sort of behind us the way yeah. they had been in the 60s it's and not just going out there on the stage and singing it's and doing lot. your best job there's that whole business thing behind behind it, right? you and sometimes that machinery switches gears you know it's, yeah. it has other things Place that their are importance happening. on something else and that's what happened you know and it's just amazing people say well why you know you guys yeah. were so good there it's not really Really one answer to why yeah. uh, and that's when I wrote the book I'm finding oh my god all these things happen but at the time I was too busy doing it to really think about it is that, is that a good process or is that a painful process going back through examining why things happen why what why did that upset me so much at the time yes, yeah, yeah. it was it was very painful going back because I have this wonderful knack of while I'm doing something I'm not in pain yeah. someone says my god Mary you must have been so hurt at the time well I, you know I was having fun I do my gig well, that's probably a party. good thing a good you know mm -hmm. way to be I'd go out and I'd have fun I go back and I do whatever I had to do for the group you also write unless we think this is all about work and no play you also write in the book and you in the last book too about uh, well about several different romances that you had specifically Tom Jones and, and Steve McQueen now where did you meet Steve McQueen uh, it was a Hollywood party it was in the early this book takes place by the way in the 70s the second book and he's a very quiet guy he was, it was a very, very quiet little very romance. very quiet very not really an introvert but he didn't like to be around people a lot and it was at a Hollywood party this but was, you're an extrovert you know, people say that, but I'm not really. I mean, there's one side of me that really is an extrovert, but really I'm quite shy. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, we anyway, believe that. <laughs> at this Hollywood party, I just sort of saw Steve there, and he saw me and it was from across the room. And, you know, sparks went off. But we, the relationship was really a, one, a very quiet one. We speak on the phone for hours. We talk about the weather. We talk about singing. And uh, we spend hours on the beach yeah, and things like that. No, but one thing, no, he didn't sing with me. He listened. <laughs> <laughs> and did Flip Wilson ask you to marry him? Yes, Flip did. Yeah. And uh, I really considered marrying Flip because I really, really, really liked Flip. Um, it's just that I, I, I had this image of being in love. You know, it's like this shining night comes and sweeps me off my feet. Well... <laughs> He swept me off, all right. But <laughs> I just I decided not to, and when I didn't, it was it broke up the relationship because he really wanted to marry, and that was mm. a time when black people wanted to marry each other. You know, mm. it was a time of let's do this right thing, and and he was very sad because I wouldn't see all the little juicy tidbits you get in this book. What's it called again? Supreme Faith. Supreme Faith. Someday we'll be together. together. Good yes. to see you, Mary. And <laughs> good to see you. Good luck. And take care of those teenagers. Your daughter is 10. Yeah, mine are little. Hers are teenagers. Yeah. 11, 11, 12. 12 and 15. She has, and and she's been dating. giving me an earful about what I'm in store for. <laughs> Mary, good to see you. Thank you. Nice to see you. <laughs>